guys, it's Jar here, and today on let on this episode of Let's Talk Anime, we're going to be talking about da 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 da. How heavy are the dumbbells you lift? Yeah. So on this episode, we're talking about how heavy are the dumbbells you lift. Boy oh boy. Episode one, I was hooked in. I was hooked in straight away on episode one. Lately, I've been getting into a lot of fitness. I've been trying to make myself a lot better, so I've been working on my mental health, my physical health, and trying to be a lot more vulnerable and emotional. But I've really been focusing on my physical health a lot as well. And this anime has really inspired me. Shout out to you. This anime has inspired me a lot with my physical health. So on days where I feel kind of low, or I don't really want to go to the gym, or do any workouts, even at home, watching this anime actually inspires me, which is a huge thing. So that's number one. Number two, it shows me new things I thought I'd, well, I never knew about. I went to a, I'm going to a gym and I had one personal trainer session and I pretty much said to him, show me everything that you can show me to help with what I would like to do. So he showed me how to use all the equipment, but he didn't say like, you know, how many reps to do or this and that. I had no idea. Watching this anime, it's slightly educational. It shows me how many reps I should be doing roughly to start off with. All these different new exercises. Every episode there's a new exercise which is super cool. It could be as simple as ones you can do in the gym, two ones at home or different stretches or to do with muscles, all those different things. So it's super cool. Number three, if you have a thing for muscles, if you have a thing for muscles or if you have, apparently there's a big thing in Asia or Japan in general, do you have you fetish for muscles? If you do, this anime is your damn cup of tea. You'll love this show. <laughs> but it follows this journey of Hibata. I know I'm saying that way incorrectly, but this is girl right here. She feels like she's getting quite fat. So she wants to try and work on getting a lot slimmer. She joins the gym and she meets a fellow school colleague of hers who wants to be a macho man. She joins because she has a muscle fetish. Because she thirsty for the muscles. And the two of them work together to help each other out, not only to push each other to their limits, but to just help them in general with their fitness goals. The main character, Hibiki, Hibiki, I'm sorry, I'm not butchering these names. Please don't come at me in the comments. She has a issue with food, she struggles with that, she loves it a lot, and she doesn't want to give it up. The other girl was really rich, and just wants to work on being more muscular. Throughout the series, you get more characters coming into play, and you just kind of go through a mixture of workouts, and high school life, and just all of that all together. So if you really love watching animes that have slices of high school, slices of their personal lives as well as like the story plot lines. So kind of like my love story, I recommend How Heavy Are The Dumbbells You Lived. It's a fantastic anime. So far there's only 12 episodes that have premiered, or have, I watch it on Anime Lab, hashtag not sponsored. Um, but I just love it. They're great, every episode is fun and enjoyable. And the characters are, are fantastic. I tell my friends about it, I love it. I sit down and I'm ready to watch it every single Wednesday as it was coming out. Like it gets a show worth watching. I hugely recommend it and I cannot stress it enough. I even have a sticker of the main girl on my laptop because she's such an inspiration to me as someone who loves food but also wants to be healthy and fit and strong. She's a big inspiration. So that's actually really awesome as well to see and you know we get another classmate joins in later on we get a girl from Russia that joins in one of the teachers join in who also does cosplay and it's kind of like melding all the worlds and you know you get more teachers later on and it just becomes like a great time of just girls working out and who doesn't love a bunch of girls working out having a guy instructor who's just like I'm gonna help you get better with, you know, using this muscle here and here. He names the muscle, he explains what it does if you move it a certain way, the do's and don'ts, or the do's and don'ts. Um, 
and it's so like it's obviously well educated because they've done their research they know what they're talking about they're not just like and this is the gluteus maximus and the gluteus maximus does this because you know the gluteus maximus is your butt and then there's a the gluteus minimal minimal minimalist and you know there's all these other ones like your deltoids and your triceps and your all these other muscles and actually explain it and say like you know if they show an exercise that's really extreme that's for anime viewing purposes only they'll actually say like you know do not try this at home so they're very like hard with that they're very good like they'll have their crazy anime moments when they're you know trying out random things or they'll show you like some like a temple they went to recently where they did some praying and you kind of follow the funny journey of like the teacher as well like what um the trainer he's quite hilarious granted he is my least favorite character um don't come at me all of you who watch it and likes the trainer i personally don't like him but that's just me i particularly just love the main girl characters there isn't a lot of guys in there i think that like are consistent characters the only consistent male character is the gym trainer the rest are all quite female they're all female there are guys throughout it but they're not consistent like they don't have backstories or things like that you don't see them a lot it's mainly just focusing on girls and getting them stronger and fitter and just a lot stronger so we're all about getting fitter stronger healthier if you like watching girls exercise if you love some muscles if you just like anime and want to watch something new that's only just come out this year I highly 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 recommend recommend sorry how heavy are the dumbbells you lift because yes it's a long title but it's a damn great show and again I cannot stress it enough I recommend it so much like it gives my stamp of approval and I am should have prophesized this in the beginning of the video but I'm not an anime god I ain't the anime man on YouTube like I'm just a simple girl who likes to watch anime and I thought it'd be interesting to give my review on it considering I'm bad at remembering the Japanese names. I do watch it in subbed, so that's with the subtitles, but I am still learning how all the anime works. And if you have any anime suggestions for me, please leave them in the comment section below. I'm always interested to try new animes because it's always good to like kind of talk about it and that's why I talk about these animes because you never know you might have never seen an anime that I've discussed or you might have but you could share your opinions and different expressions and point of views on them so at the end of the day it's a win-win for everyone and I just like talking about things I'm passionate about and things I love and I really love anime it's really good and yes it's just cartoons it's Japanese cartoons but I like normal cartoons. I like Japanese cartoons. I like a lot of things. I just like talking about it and especially I love watching how heavy are the dumbbells you lift. Is it rewatchable? 100%. Am I going to rewatch it? For sure. The final episode for me as of recording this comes out next Wednesday. So I am waiting for that. Oh my god. I hope it's good. Well it says it's the last episode so we'll see. But yeah that's all for this episode here if you enjoyed it let me know in the comment section below as well we have a playlist of the let's talk anime series where we did between the sky and the sea we did um my love story and i don't remember if we've done bokro no hero which is my hero academia no we haven't we've just done sky oh no we did my hero academia and between the sky and the sea where's the love story one I'll find where the love story is because it's not on YouTube. Weird. Somewhere. I'll find it. <laughs> I don't know where actually. That's a bit sus. Might have to refilm it. We'll see. Anyway. Dry. See you guys in the next video. Whoop. Sorry cats and out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. See ya. Please let me know all your anime. Who's your waifu? Who's your husbando? Let me know everything. 